all my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I took a poll on my Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me so you can have a say in the kinds of videos I post. But I asked you guys on my Instagram between two videos, which one would you rather see? And this is the one that won. So I'm sure you guys have already read the title. I'm going to be attempting to eat double my caloric intake, what I usually have. And if you are new here, uh, welcome. I hope you stay a while. I would love to have you here. But also, if you are new here, I am not someone that tracks my calories. However, I have tracked my calories for video purposes and it seems that I usually eat around like 2,000 to 2,500 give or take it just depends on the day you know so I can't exactly double my calories since the amount of calories I eat changes day to day so since double 2,000 is 4,000 and double 2,500 is 5,000 it's just gonna kind of be anywhere in that range and I'm going to try to eat like as normal as possible I just know since usually I just eat to the point where I'm full I don't want to have to like take what I usually eat and double that because I think that will make me feel sick and I don't think I'll be able to do it so I'm gonna try to eat like as normally as possible but you know we're just gonna have a few extra things to help out so I hope you guys enjoy the video if you do please make sure to give a thumbs up to let me know but of course if you absolutely hate it despise it despise me that's okay you can give it a thumbs down too and of course subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress so, first things first, I'm going to be toasting up a bagel, but I went to Whole Foods this morning and as I was getting a bagel, one of the workers put out a fresh batch of blueberry muffins and I was like, I can't, I can't not, right? So, I got myself a blueberry muffin. Here's what they look like. Beautiful. I got sesame seed bagels because these are my favorites. I was originally, the game plan was just to eat two bagels, but I saw that blueberry muffin and I was like, oh my God, I have to, I have to. Mmm, wow, they're so moist. Mmm, mmm. I think blueberry muffins are one of my favorite. I really like corn muffins. Mmm, I haven't had a corn muffin in a hot minute. I was trying to make vegan cornbread. I used to eat corn muffins all the time as a kid. Mm. I just started streaming soon. If you aren't following me on Twitch, you should follow me there. I stream like five to six times a week. Right now, I'm playing the Attack on Titan game. It is so much fun. It is so, so much fun. What is the difference between a muffin and a cupcake? Is it just the frosting? Or is there like a different process entirely? Okay, now that the sweet part of my breakfast is finished, I'm gonna have my bagel. And I don't know why, it always only like toasts half of it. But this side's toasted, it's just this side toasts more. I don't mind a little burnt bit. It gives it flavor. This is some spice, you know? I love bagels so much. You guys are probably sick of seeing me eat bagels. But you know what? Some of you guys have been around for like three years and all you've seen me eat for breakfast is oatmeal. And now look at me. I'm changing. I'm a grown woman. Add a decent amount of cream cheese. I'm not sure how much cream cheese this is, but I do know that when I used to measure my food and I used to track my calories and all that stuff, a serving of cream cheese is just, it's just not enough. So I'm gonna say I probably do around like two servings of cream cheese. I mean, how many servings is in this? Cause I go through this in like a few days. About seven servings. I got this cream cheese like two days ago. It's almost already done. So I feel like I probably do around two servings maybe. This is Kite Hill Chive Cream Cheese, by the way. And then I'm gonna be using some Everything But The Bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. I love this stuff. Let me take this hat off. This is a cat beanie. I love it. I have no idea where I got it. I apologize. Of course, I gotta do my usual bagel thumbnail. I'm always biting into a bagel in my thumbnails. When I'm actually eating bagels, I like break them up in half and then I eat them in sections. Mmm, bagels with cream cheese really keep me going. I'll think to myself, what's the point of going on in life? And then I eat a bagel and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I get that way with like bagels and french fries. Whenever I have them, I'm like, you know what? This is enough of a reason to just keep going, keep pushing. Live for bagels, live for bagels. Mmm. Okay friends, so for lunch I have decided to make a sandwich and I got this ciabatta bread today from Whole Foods. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna eat of it. Let's go for, maybe like that's a decent amount. A little less than half. This is about, so a serving is two ounces and then this was about 13 ounces, I think. Like an entire thing was 13 ounces. Half of that would be about six and a half. So this is maybe five. I don't know how much bacon to make, Three pieces. So for three pieces of bacon, I'm using this benevolent bacon. And then on the side of my sandwich, I'm going to be having some chips. 
And did you know that a serving size of chips, the serving size of chips will never fail to piss me the f off. Like it's actually ridiculous. The serving size of these chips, these are Kettle brand crinkle cut salt and fresh ground pepper. Serving size, about nine chips. Nine chips. Who the f who the f eats nine chips? I know that there's probably a reason behind this, but look at this. So here's the bag of chips. There are 13 servings in this bag. This is where the chips start. Is that not crazy? Sheesh, if it really is nine chips a serving, I've had like three servings already. <laughs> a serving of mayo is very, very, very tiny. I've already eaten so many chips. Not bad. So there we have a BLT. Well, I guess um, a B. ST? I've already had, I'm gonna assume like three servings of chips. <laughs> I mean, cause the serving is so small, you know? See, that's probably like two servings. I used to weigh out chips and honestly, this looks like it's more than two servings. <laughs> Never weigh out your chips, guys. It, there's more to life than that. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that's two servings. So that's basically like five servings. I don't wanna like overestimate too much cause I feel like people get mad at them. So I'll say, four servings, how about that? And ta-da! I feel like there's too much bread. I love bread, don't get me wrong. I love my bread. Sometimes I feel like the bread to sandwich ratio is off. That's so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, still cannot believe the serving size of chips. Who came up with that? Who decided that? Why would you do that? Maybe this is an American perspective. Is it because Americans like tend to eat a lot? Like our portions are always bigger? Nine chips. If you don't live in America, let me know. Is that like ridiculous? I feel like that's ridiculous. I don't know anyone in their right mind that would just eat nine chips and be like, I'm good. I mean, if you do, that's totally fine. I just personally have never met anyone that could do that. Mm. There's like a party or something going on outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's like, Anyway, I'm having a snack. I really hope you guys can hear that. Am I getting a copyright for this? I don't know this song, but like maybe it's really popular and I just don't know it. Anyway, I'm having a snack and I'm going to be having a sliced up apple and some peanut butter. I finished that food a little while ago and I wanted to film the entire thing, but listen, usually with videos like this, I would film like every bite of food and then I would just kind of like speed it up and stuff like that because you guys seem to really like it, which always surprises me because I get really bored when I'm editing it and I just have this like giant chunk of just sped up eating. I think it's so boring, but like it seems like you guys prefer for having that. The only reason I'm not having it in this video is because my stupid ass, I don't know if you can see this right here. So this is where like all my plugs are for my couch. There's this little empty slot here. S somehow, I don't know how I managed to do it, but I seem to always find a way to myself over. I draw my SD card, my 64 gigabyte, my 64 gigabyte SD card in here and there's literally no way I can get it out. So I'm using an eight, an eight gigabyte SD card because I got it when I got like one of my first cameras because I thought eight gigabytes was like a lot. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get the cheapest one. Uh, my videos aren't that long, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. So that's the reasoning behind that. I'm sorry, I ordered a new SD card so that will not be happening again. I haven't kept track of my calories at all today. So I might be really behind. That's gonna be a problem. I'm not used to like tracking calories, so I just forget. Mm -hmm. I'll figure something out. We are dusting off the scale. I haven't whipped this thing out in a long time. Oh, it still works. I'm going to weigh out the pasta because I'm at, I'm at that point where I'm not really hungry. However, I always, always have room for pasta. <laughs> I also just smashed a glass over there, so that's exciting. If I don't weigh out my pasta, I don't know how much I'm having. I have no concept of measurements when it comes to pasta. This is six ounces. Oh my god, it looks like a bouquet. Ooh, roses. Get me one of these bad boys. A bouquet of spaghetti noodles. That's what I want for Valentine's Day. So as you can see here, I have the pasta cooking in salted water. And then over here, I just cooked up a Beyond Burger. And I'm going to be using this. It's eggplant with tomatoes and onions. This stuff is really good, actually and I like using it on pasta. What's the point of a ring top if it's not gonna pull? This is gonna work. Ugh. Oh, for frick's sake. I'm just gonna... Do you guys hear that music outside? They're still going. It smells good. It's gonna taste good. Yes, I'm using chopsticks. Mmm, that eggplant can stuff. So good, it's like a little sweet. Mmm. 
Is it offensive to eat this with chopsticks? I'm really sorry if it is. I feel like eating with chopsticks is just like easier for me. I still have not tracked my calories at all today. I have no idea how much I've had. I'm just trying to eat as naturally as possible and just hope I get anywhere between like 4,000 and 5,000. God, this pasta is so good. I like wasn't that hungry, but like as I'm eating this, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. We're at that time of the night where I am just looking god awful. Let's just wrap this video up. I finally tracked everything that I've eaten today, and it's around like 35, 3600, give or take. And I, I'm getting there. I'm pretty full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, maybe one or two of these. I don't know. We'll see. But I also want to have some of these. These are Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They're so cute. They're like little miniature Reese's cups. They have almond butter ones too. Are y'all partying in the middle of a panini press? I don't think so. I kind of want to talk about something really quick. My entire goal whenever I film a video that like talks about this kind of stuff is to help someone. I just want to help someone out there. I feel like a big sister to a lot of you because I know a lot of you guys are younger than me. Some of you guys are older than me, which is like, hey, adopt me. I feel like a big sister to a lot of you guys and I never thought I would be able to be someone that I needed when I was your guys' age. So that's what I want to be. But however, I do want people to recognize that I am very privileged to look the way that I do. I'm not skinny, but I'm also not fat even though I've had people call me both I've had people say I'm obese and then I've had people say that I need to eat more and it's like well, How about we just like don't comment on each other's bodies? I didn't ask for your opinion on my body But aside from that I I know myself that I'm not fat like I know that and I feel really bad for people that think I'm fat I don't know how far gone you are in society to think someone like me is fat so I know that Although there's going to be some negative comments on this video because there's always, you know, some negative comments on basically every single video out there. Majority will be positive. And that is mostly because of how I look. Because if I was a fat person, I would get a lot of hate. People telling me that I'm promoting obesity. People telling me that I should stop eating the way I'm eating and whatever. An eating disorder doesn't have a size. It doesn't have a look. Everyone can struggle with eating. It doesn't matter if you're big. It doesn't matter if you're small. Everyone can struggle with it. And I feel like when people who are obese are experiencing an eating disorder, like an eating disorder where people are conventionally really thin because of it, people will invalidate you and invalidate your feelings and your trauma. I'm really sorry that there are people like that out there. And I don't know how much this helps you, but I will always be in your corner. I will always support you. I will never invalidate whatever you're going through. And I love you. Mmm, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And I think I'm gonna stop there because like I said, your girl's getting a little full. Well, not a little full, I'm pretty full. And my SD card, this SD card, I can't do the eight gigabyte. I've already had to switch it out twice. And I haven't even filmed myself eating. So these are gonna be the last thing I eat for the night. So once I'm finished up eating these, that is going to be the last thing I have for tonight, which means that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, despised it, despised me, that's okay. You can give a thumbs down too. That's fine. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.